So, how is the building process, the building program? We pretty much got a full team right now. We've uh, we've got a total of 18 girls already signed. We'll probably be signing another two within the next week and a half. That'll give us 20. Uh, I've got five walk-ons. Uh, had to have some walk-ons. We got to have senior night. Right. And we've got all freshmen. But uh, we, we've got a bunch of good kids. Uh, I mean, some good kids. So you're looking at 85, 90% freshmen right now? I'd say we're looking at probably 95% freshmen. Now, what, what kind of problems does that pose? Because you're trying to build a new program and you got a lot of kids that are. Shouldn't be any problems. I mean, if you teach kids the right way and teach them the fundamentals and how to play this game, uh, it, it doesn't matter if they're freshmen or they're seniors. The only thing the difference between a senior and a freshman is uh, the seniors have been there, they've done it, they feel a little more comfortable, they got more experience, but uh, freshmen can play ball just like seniors can. Now, being in that situation, being able to build a team uh, almost completely, you're not really inheriting a team. Uh, is there? Are you looking for a balanced team? Is there a particular play style that you're trying to recruit well, for? Well, what I do is, is I build a team around pitching and defense. With this game here, pitching is everything. If you don't have pitching, you're a mediocre team. Um, then you put defense behind that. All you got to score is one, maybe two runs a game, and you can be one of the best teams in the country. Uh, but the, the kids that – we've just not went out and got kids. We've went out and got kids, quality kids. I mean – uh, that's awesome ball players, and, and I think that uh, we'll probably be picked to finish last in our conference. But boy, are we gonna we're gonna wake a whole lot of teams up. Now, have, have you had a chance to watch any other teams in the conference? Or? Yeah, I've I've watched a lot of these teams, uh, know what a lot of these teams have, and and they're good. I mean, there's. Uh, there's not a, a major difference in between the first place team really and the last place team, except pitching. That's it, just pitching. But we're putting together a team that, uh, when I was at East, we were so young. We were starting sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. And that was a problem, but we still won. We still had winning records every year and went to the region with those young kids. And it's the style of ball that you play and how you teach them fundamentals. Fundamentals won a whole lot of ball games. They don't win you a lot of championships. The fundamentals win you a whole lot of ball games. And then as those kids get older, and they start to grow up and get matured and get some experience under their belt, you're tough. Now, since it's such a young team, and you said you'll probably pick last, what kind of team goals do you set next year well, when we talk to them? What we'll do is we'll we'll have team goals, individual goals. The the team goal is to win first place in our conference. Is that legitimate? I really do think it is. I, I don't believe in negative. I believe in positive. Um, I don't like to lose, but at the same time, it's going to happen, and you got to handle that gracefully. And your kids have to see how you handle it. You got to teach that, and you got to teach it with a bitter, a bitter taste in their mouth. Cause you, you don't want it to be something that they get used to. Uh, winning sweet. That's what you want them to do, and, and I think we will win. I think we'll win right off the bat, unless we get injuries. If we get injuries, that's that's a whole different ball game. That's with any team. And I was reading through your bio. Uh, I noticed you've got uh, quite a bit of variance in your your experience mm -hmm. as an I'll, assistant I'll, coach, head coach, even umpiring. How mm -hmm. does that help you? Well, umpiring <clears throat> wise. Uh, before we even get on the field, we'll, we'll go through class softball one-on-one. And, and what that is, is by umpiring, I'll teach the kids to be an umpire where they can actually umpire. They'll know where to go. They'll know what to do. Uh, let's just say, for instance, you, you're at first base and you, the umpire should be in the field, should be over the second baseman's right shoulder. If that second baseman, I mean, if that umpire in the field is over the second baseman's right shoulder and you're looking at that pit, that umpire looking straight at the pitcher and you're going first, they're not paying any attention to you. So you can take a little bit of advantage of that. Um, just knowing where the umpires is, knowing what umpire signals is, if you're running the third base and the shortstop gets in your way and you bumper, the first thing you do when you bumper is you look to the guy 
to see our gal to see if they got that left fist out, which means that's a delayed dead ball. Well, you go on to third base, I don't care if you get through out of home by 40 feet. You're going home because that delayed dead ball means it's a delayed ball, but it's dead, which means you got obstruction. They're going to give you the base you're going to plus one, so that means you get home. So, But if you stop at third base, that's all you're going to get, regardless whether they tell you or not. That's all you're going to, so why not take, take the advantage and go home? That's knowing the difference between what the signals are and when you get where your whole team knows that and they know what to look for and stuff like that, you got an advantage over another team. And, and you know, that's not cheating. That's teaching your kids more than the fundamentals of the game. It's teaching them how to umpire. And if we do our job right here, which we will, when it comes time for game time, we write out the lineup, tell the kids you're in here, you're in there. And we sit back and, and kind of take it easy. The kids learn in practice, and that's where we'll, we'll be hard on them in practice. Um, but come game time, that's not the time to, to, to say something to a kid. You just make a note of it when it comes to practice. You remind that kid of, of uh, what happened. They remember, and then you work on that in practice. If you work on it in practice, then come game time, our job's pretty easy. And you've got some facilities that haven't been used in a while. How do they look? Well, we're getting new facilities. Tomorrow they're, we're getting new dugouts. We're, we're putting 4,000 square feet of side on that infield. Uh, we're getting new fences. We're getting new backstops. Um, we're supposed to have a building built on the back of our dugout, our home dugout for our locker room. Hmm. Um, you know, Asbury is building the facilities. If To get quality kids and good kids, the facility helps a lot if you've got a nice facility, and, and it's going to be nice. And we're going to get good kids in here. And, and you know, the main goal is not to get the kids in here to win conference every year. The main goal is to get these kids in here in a Christian uh, environment, get these kids graduated, and have fun playing softball and have memories that they're going to keep for the rest of their life. That's what my goal is. Have you had any... Any problems that you didn't foresee? Anything that's kind of come up? That... Nope. Not had any problems at all. The administration here has been great. Our athletic director, Gary Camp, is, I don't know what else he could do to make, you know, and I'm not tooting our own horn here, man. It's just being straightforward with you. I don't know what else we can do to make it a smoother ride in here because when you got a got a uh, administration that stands behind you and believes in you and does what it takes to get the job done, the sky's the limit where this organization is going to go for. There's no reason Asbury College shouldn't be in the top 20 in softball every single year. Trevecca and Azarine does it down in Nashville. They're no bigger than us, but they run it the right way. And, um, you know, we intend to do that, and, and we're not going to break any rules. We're not going to cheat. We're going to bring in good kids. We're going to work their butts off. They're going to learn how to play the game of softball. And... Everything else will take care of itself. Winning will take care of itself. Um, recruiting, Wilmore's a great town. Every parent that's come in here really loves Wilmore. I mean, I can't say enough about it. We've had over 60 kids in. Well, we probably had over 70 kids in now. And maybe five did not want to come here. But everybody, but it's a numbers game. You can only take so many. Uh, so... It's, it's kind of hard to say because you want to say something bad, but right now you can't say anything bad. I mean, everything's gone pretty smooth. Um, it's, it's been pretty, pretty decent.